the Wolfi trial is the first randomized trial comparing a triplet chemotherapy versus a triplet chemotherapy plus an antibody. Um, why is that important? It is important since we have come to the point in colorectal cancer where we understood that triplet chemotherapy, so full escalation to all chemotherapy that we have available, is a favorable option for at least a subset of patients. And the key question whether we can further escalate that triplet chemotherapy regimen with an antibody is not yet cleared because the studies that we have conducted in colorectal cancer rather compared doublet plus antibody to triplet plus antibody, so the role of the antibody is not entirely clear. The Wolfi trial compares the triplet chemotherapy to triplet chemotherapy plus panitumumab, a humanized EGFR antibody. Um, and the key findings uh, of the Wolfi trial are pretty easy. The primary endpoint was response rate, which was clearly met. So it exceeded an estimated 75% uh, response rate, clearly by nearly 90%. Um, and also the comparison between the arms was uh, positive, statistically significantly better with panitumumab. And we also have more secondary resections uh, with the escalation of the EGFR antibody and a nice trend in overall survival, which due to the size of the trial should be interpreted with caution. However, I think we can say that the gain in benefits, so the hazard ratio, although not significant, is quite similar to what we have seen in other trials with EGFR antibodies. And I think that we may at least suggest with the trial um, that there's no ceiling effect with triplet chemotherapy and that you can gain additional benefit even in the background of triplet chemotherapy. I think that's the interesting and important message of the Wolfi trial so far. It was 96 patients in the trial. Of course, if you do triplet chemotherapy, there are side effects. Um, that's absolutely normal. Um, and there are more side effects as with doublet chemotherapy. So you have events of grade three and four, neutropenia, uh, diarrhea, uh, the classic chemotherapeutic uh, profile. And of course, the, you have the additional side effects of panitumumab in that case. Um, I think the important aspect of combining all these four drugs is that you have to adjust the dosing of the 4-Fox Erie. You cannot go for the full regimen, that wasn't done in the trial. You have to lower the dose of irinotecan to at least 150 milligrams or even 130 milligrams. I think the society is not entirely clear, but reduction is clearly something you have to do. Um, you shouldn't use the 5 few bolos like in the French 4 Furinox regimen. Um, so no bolos in that context. And, and also the dose of five of you, uh, we are not entirely sure whether 2.4 grams or 3 grams uh, as the continuous infusion on 46 hours uh, is the better solution. But I think if you downsize the dosing a bit, at least for the chemotherapeutic agents, you can gain the benefit of the EGFR antibody. Um, and I think uh, there is a randomized phase 3 that will investigate on that. Um, and I think I'm, I'm quite positive uh, in terms of what I await from this study. It's an uh, Italian trial, it's called Triplet, um, and it compares doublet plus EGFR to triplet plus EGFR, so the role of the EGF antibody is not in directly asked in that scenario, but I think given the data that we have for doublet uh, plus uh, EGFR, it's a fair question and it will clarify whether the four drug regimen uh, is something to go for in the future on a broader range. But I think it's absolutely clear to say uh, that it's not a regimen for everyone. Um, it's best fit in young patients with symptomatic disease or uh, that are having the possibility to undergo secondary resection. So if you need quick and uh, deep response of the tumor, I think uh, that's an important tool that adds to the tools that we already have. So it's not replacing, I think, uh, something uh, that we really have it adds an aspect of therapy, an escalation aspect uh, to patients that can stand the therapy. And for those patients, I think it's really of additional value.